Hi, welcome to Bead Mosaics. My name is Sabrina Fry, and I am a professional bead artist. And today I'm just going to give you a really quick overview of how I made this bugle bead mosaic. Um, his name is Kane. He's a blue heron. And I used several different types and styles of beads here, so I'm going to give you a quick overview from the beginning. This is how I start out with a quick outline. Um, I do prime sand and prime the background. And then I start laying beads. Now these are 30 millimeter bugle beads. Um, so they're, they're very long, but they work great as feathers. And um, what I do is goop on the glue. I use a silicone adhesive. Doesn't matter which brand, as long as it's goopy, because you need to set the beads into the goop. It's what gives them depth and allows you to layer them bead by bead. Now I'm using about four different shades of blue with this piece um, and anywhere from 30 millimeter to 20 millimeter lengths. You can see the two different lengths right in this section. And I really just go bead by bead, one by one, building up the layers, changing directions if the feathers change directions. So I'm using a reference photo or several reference photos to give me that information. And then I start layering colors in and different colors. So here I've got some silver and white, some pewter that gives me some different effects. Um, you can see the outlines are really basic. I'm not doing, um, it's not a paint by numbers type of situation. Um, just really basic outlines. Here I'm using some smaller beads to give a fuzzier effect to the feather. This part of the bird is a little bit different than the rest of the bird. So now I'm working my way up his neck, again, layering those bugle beads, using different colors in different directions to get that kind of bent effect with him. I'm also now here introducing some seed beads to do the details on his face. Um, when you start to get into their faces, they, the details get very intricate. So I incorporate several different sizes of beads <clears throat> sometimes using super tiny uh, bugle beads and then uh, usually seed beads for the intricate detail work. And um, <clears throat> as you can see, the beads here are the only things creating the color and the blending is just interspersing those uh, colored beads and those uh, with the clear and white beads. So um, this is Kane, as you'll see, um, through the rest of this, he came together very beautifully. He's one of my favorite pieces and um, just love the level of detail in it. And yes, this took about 30 hours worth of work to create. Um, and I did this on an upcycled cabinet door so that I could have that beautiful kind of marbleized background that you're seeing. Um, and if you wanna learn more or see more videos, um, there are some step-by-step bead-by-bead videos that I have posted um, on this YouTube channel so you can subscribe and see more. Or if you want to purchase a piece or see all of my work, you can see that at my website, which is www.sabrinafryart.com. And um, I thank you for joining me. I hope you subscribe and want to watch more. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Sabrina Fry Art, and I post daily. Um, progress videos on new